This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome. I am joined by Elio and Carlos and we are talking Core Ball today. So uh, this is a collaboration between the guys at Big Shell Creative and Burning Games, correct? Yes. All right, so uh, for everybody at home, just very quickly, what is Core Ball? So Core Ball is a sports game for two to four players. It's got a competitive mode with uh, two players and a more uh, arcade mode with three or four players. Mm -hmm. So it's got uh, team building, it's got uh, lots of uh, strategy based on creating combos with your team selection. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll pass it over to Carlos. <laughs> yeah, right. So the whole setting is basically you play sports by in space. So people are shot at very high speeds through an asteroid field, and you're trying to catch a ball there okay. and not cross. Uh, just not die and, <laughs> and just hold to the ball basically that's your your main goal okay so basically fire at high velocity through an asteroid field don't crash get the ball and don't get beat up yeah, yeah. and make okay. other people crash it's called <laughs> core ball because it's the most basic thing you can do with a ball just mm. have it yes and keep it all right so uh some of the game components there is a, a drafting element to this game which i quite like which is we each start with four players in our team. So who are the two teams that we have? So we've got the Space Sharks here. Mm -hmm. They're specialized in pushing people out of the field and just harming uh, their opponent. Okay. And we've got the Ball Bugs. Yep. They're so. specialized in restraining the other team mm -hmm. as well as manipulating different effects uh, I to see. create combos. I see. And then, so I do notice most of my guys are not exactly great at handling the ball. I've got one of them that's pretty good, King, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. We have to draft, which is from this pool here, where we can get mercenaries who are... You can have duplicates of the same character, yes? Uh, um, not in the same team, mm -hmm. but we can uh, both yeah. have the same mercenary. Okay. Yeah, All exactly. Right. So team building in, the, in this game is meant to give you flexibility depending on who you're playing against, mm -hmm. right? So each team has their own meta and their own way of playing. Mm -hmm. So as he said, yours is about uh, grappling and mm -hmm. restraining and stuff like that. Uh, but you lack in uh, defenses against hacking. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not a very good hacker as well. Mm -hmm. And the ball, sometimes you have trouble with it, right? Yeah. So uh, the way the, the, the game is set up, you must have eight players in your team, mm -hmm. right? So when you go to play against uh, a friend, you choose any number of uh, players uh, from your team, mm -hmm. that, from, uh, your from, roster. from your roster, yeah, yeah. Okay. from two to eight, uh -huh. right? And then uh, you show each other what you have chosen, right? And then if you have fewer than eight, you can fill those spaces with mercenary characters, and you can do it depending on whom you're playing against, right? Cool. So if you were to play against him and then against me, uh, you could choose specific mercenaries to fight him, I and see. then when you play against me with the same team, you had I mean you had only like you have now only four yes. uh, ball box. You can choose four mercenaries that are good against his team, and then you play against me, and you may choose another four mercenaries I that are good. I, I like the the on the fly meta that you have running with this because this yeah. is designed to be a competitive game. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to come into a tournament. You'll maybe have your four, and then your sideboard that you're picking from to mm -hmm. actually you know, retool and retail your team, exactly. which I quite yeah. like the idea of. All right, so to begin the game, I assume we do have to draft another yes. four players each. Yes. Yeah. So uh, how do we do this? So you randomly select who's going to be the first player, mm -hmm. and the person chooses one of the mercenaries, and then you take, uh, you go back and forth choosing one each until mm -hmm. both of you have eight characters. Okay. And then you can begin playing. Okay. High card? Uh, all right, yeah. Let's do it. Four? One. Ah, so you, go you get to choose. <laughs> right. So uh, each mercenary, uh, so the mercenaries have less uh, synergies than uh, the other characters mm -hmm. who can uh, work uh, very well and, co and have a lot of cohesion. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are, each of them are good at one thing, mm. right? All right. Well, if, if Ilio, if you wouldn't mind introducing me, just who are the mercenaries and who's good at what here? Yeah. All right. So we've got the striker. Mm -hmm. He's a... Uh, a very flexible player you want to have him in your reserve mm -hmm. and maybe use him strategically to come in and get the ball at mm -hmm. some point. You've got your center, he's a good all-round ball player. Mm -hmm. You've got your safety, he's specialized on uh, pushing people out of the field. Uh -huh. Then you've got your hacker, he hacks of course, uh -huh. but he's also a pretty decent ball player so look out for that. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got your tackle who specializes on aggression, especially grappling, but he's also a decent pusher. Mm -hmm. And you've got your forward 
who uh, is very good at ball protection. So you've got the ball with forward, uh, you can move out when somebody comes in to catch you. All right. Uh, honestly, I think the, the first thing, because you're very good at pushing, I kind of want to counter that a little bit. So I think uh, the first thing I'll pick is a safety. Yeah. And I'll add that to my roster. All so right. I'll take the, the green miniature to match my characters, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So I've noticed your firewall isn't all that good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and uh, get the hacker uh -huh. to take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, neither one of us is exceptional at controlling the ball. So. I am very tempted to see if I can get someone who's quite good at it. And I think that is the, the center. The center, yeah. So I'll grab a center. Just if I can get the ball and hang on to it, I think that'll make life a little easier for me. Yep. I'm going to get the center as well, because I only have one good ball player. Uh -huh. I don't want to be just depending on one option. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just because of the tactical flexibility, I think I'm going to go for striker. All right because I quite like the idea of being able to nip in when I'm not expected. I will get a tackle, because I'm very good at pushing, but I don't have strong grapplers, so I'll complement the team with that. Mm -hmm. All right, and then my final mm -hmm. options are I can take the tackle, the hacker, or the forward. Hmm. You see, I expect this to be a very, very punchy game. But I'm looking across at you, and it looks like you have a pretty decent hacking defense. So I don't think the hacker's a good choice. I'm already pretty good at you know just grappling you myself. So I think it's going to be the forward. All right. And as so my final ball pick, ball. I'm going to get uh, the safety. Mm -hmm. I'm very good at pushing, but I like to double down or triple down. So mm -hmm. let's go for it. OK. And then so the, the two characters that are left over for each of us do not take part in the game. So no, they go yeah. away. Yes, yeah. guys, go away. All right. So let's put them away. Uh huh. Uh, let's just move the minis forward yeah. to here. Okay, so. You can place them now there. Yep. yep, we can place these here now. So but these are the 3D tiles that we're going to be using through the game. I say 3D because it's, it's kind of an abstraction that we are flying through the asteroid field. So if we actually have a look at the board, our 3D element actually comes in whenever this tile actually changes beneath this clear perspex. And that's, that's something that's really interesting to me because. It's giving you that sense that you are flying through space and that your board is changing as you play. Yeah. yeah. The idea is you're flying through an asteroid field. Mm. So in the tile, you actually see what's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. So when you slide the, the new tile in mm -hmm. at the end of every round, you see what's going to come next and you'll be affected by it at the end of every round. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So uh, we have done our, uh, our team picking. Yeah. Now it's time to deploy. Yeah. So how do we do this? So we deploy on the on a clear board, mm -hmm. on the empty on empty space, mm -hmm. and then we deploy one uh, flyer each alternatively until we have five flyers on the board, mm -hmm. and the other three will be our reserve. Okay. They can come in later if uh, some of our guys are pushed out or they sh they are injured and mm -hmm. sent to the wounded reserve. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So uh, shall we deploy? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, right. Let's uh, do it. Who goes first? So uh, you're first player. OK. So I will start deploying. I will have a possession of the ball. OK. Uh, after you then, sir. All right. So the first uh, flyer that is put on the board mm -hmm. is the ball carrier. Mm -hmm. So you give the ball to him. Uh, what I'm going to do is give the ball to Facer and place him right there. OK. So are there any specific rules that deny uh, me locations on the board to deploy in? Yes. You cannot deploy on the same square where your opponent has already deployed. Mm -hmm. And you cannot deploy in spaces that are orthogonally adjacent to somewhere where you have already placed a flyer. I see. So because you've deployed here, <coughs> your, your next deployment cannot be here, 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 or here. Exactly. Yeah. But you can deploy in here I or can on the diagonal. Yeah. yeah. You can deploy in the same uh, square, mm -hmm. but you can only have up to four, uh, two flyers from the same team on the same square. Mm -hmm. Uh, although the opponent can then uh, later on during the activation phase come in that square. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Each square can hold up to four different players. Okay. Uh, well, I think I'm going to try and be clever. So I'm going to grab Wally, who is a nice. big beefy character on my side, and pop him right in front of you, put you under some threat. All right. Uh, just because I've seen Wally doesn't have a very uh, high um, firewall, mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure to deploy a hacker nearby mm. see if I can get 
get something done. I see. All right, uh, I think the next one I'm going to deploy, because I know I'm going to need to grab the ball eventually, is so I'm going to put King down. All right, here. And then uh, I'm going to put my uh, toughest guy, Cherian. He's a really good pusher right here with a phaser just to take care of any threats that might be coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I think I might need to clear some space, so I'm going to grab my safety and I will pop him, I think, out here. All right. So um, my next pick is going to be... Uh, 13th, she's a very good pusher and she's very mobile, so I hope we I will be able to reach any part of the board mm -hmm. from there. Uh, the next thing I'm thinking is I'm going to go with Grasshopper. Unfortunately, I've done myself a mischief here because I can't deploy here and I can't deploy here. Yeah. So I think where I'm going to go is right here next to Wally. Yeah. Ah, nice. Can I make a recommendation? Mm -hmm. You want to take the ball, so you should use Grasshopper to protect your ball player. Because Wally can protect himself. Yeah, but my, my thinking is for the position I'm in, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to be doing with the character. So this one I'm expecting to either jump in here and start pushing. Uh -huh. King is kind of okay on his own for now. I may put someone else with him in a minute, but I think I'm okay here. Okay. All right. And with my last choice, I already have the ball. Mm -hmm. And I expect uh, to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm either going to lean for a hacker or for someone else that can uh, cause some trouble mm -hmm. against your ranks, so I'm going to go with uh, Tackle, just okay. over here. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm putting the last one down, I'm actually going to go for someone else who's quite good with the ball, so I'm going to go with Center All right. and put her right here, a little bit further away from some of your guys. So I've got a couple of threats on you, which I think will be good. Right. So at All this right. stage, what's the next thing that happens? Right, so now you're going to separate your uh, reserve from okay. your players on the board. So this is in your in-play area, mm -hmm. and that's your reserve, right? Okay. So how it works is uh, the game is played in four rounds. Mm -hmm. Whoever has the most points at the end of the fourth round is going to be the winner, okay? okay. Everyone begins with five points, uh -huh. right? So yeah, points. you have this uh, dial, with, mm -hmm. uh, where you begin with five points, and you can go down to zero points, mm -hmm. right? And up to as many as you get. Okay. Right? Cool. So, um, the thing is, um, yeah, basically, now that you have deployed, you're going to play the, the first round. Each mm -hmm. round has uh, three phases. Mm -hmm. The first phase uh, is the uh, deployment phase. Mm -hmm. or the reinforcement phase? Substitutions. Substitution, right, right, substitutions phase, right? So you have fewer than five guys on the board. Mm -hmm. You can enter with new ones uh, from the, uh, to any of the exterior squares okay. or spaces, right? But the first round, everyone's on the board, so you don't have to do that, you skip that. Then you go directly to the activation phase. During the activation phase, you're going to take turns mm -hmm. to choose one of your characters each and activate him. Okay. To activate a character, you rotate the card 90 degrees, mm -hmm. okay? And then you can do with that character up to two movements and one action, in whichever okay. order you please. Okay, cool. Uh, so I think the first thing I'm gonna activate. Uh, before we get started, we place the Yes, oh, we have to so place the map. Uh, one thing you do is you have to randomly s uh, get a new tile mm -hmm. under, the, under the board. And so, see. this that is, is where the fun begins. Yes. Ah, I see. So we d actually don't play our first round on a blank mat. No. no That's no, interesting. No, no. Right. It's just, uh, so you deploy without knowing what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, this is the, these are the tiles. Uh -huh. Every round you're going to change them underneath the players. So they're going to move independently from whatever is coming at them. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, so there are two main things to consider uh, on the board uh, or the tiles. There are the obstacles, which can be found between squares. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's area terrain, which can be found in the squares, okay? I see. So what happens? Every time a character moves through an obstacle, mm -hmm. it will trigger, it will affect him yeah. at that moment, okay? While area terrain only affects you at the end of the round. I see. So if you are, right now, for example, uh, he's got two characters here on top of an asteroid, yes. but he's only basically seen it coming towards him, mm -hmm. but nothing will happen to him uh, if he manages to move out of there before the round ends. I see. Okay, so that's very important. And what do they do? Well, 
the red, uh, the red ones, regardless if they are obstacles or they are area terrain, they're going to injure a character. Mm -hmm. If you injure a character, you flip the card, uh, it's going to become a little bit weaker and you're going to lose one victory point. I see. Okay. Okay. Then the yellow ones, uh, the yellow ones will give you a tire token. Mm -hmm. If you get a tire token, uh, your character is um, going to lose his action for mm -hmm. uh, his next activation. Okay. Okay. And these ones are fun. Uh, the white ones are called railguns, and each of them points towards one of the sides of the board. Yep. So when a character moves through them, regardless in which direction they move, you only have to look at the arrow on the on the obstacle. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a token that matches uh, the side they're pointing towards. For uh -huh. example, this, right? And if you put that car that token on a character mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the round, before resolving a terrain you are forced to move as many spaces as the number of tokens you got in those directions. So this is kind of that inertia that you get in space. If you start moving, yes. you keep yes. moving. Yeah, it's called exactly. momentum, and it builds up. Mm. You're not going to lose it okay. unless you move through a uh, railgun that gives you the opposite momentum, uh -huh. or you move out of the board, right? Okay. So sometimes when you build up too much momentum, uh, you want to go to the reserve and let someone else who is more fresh, come back, mm -hmm. Co come in, and, and, yeah. Cool. All right. All right, so I have the first player token then, yeah? Yeah. Yes. All right, so I think I'm going to activate Wally first. And to activate a character, I have to turn the card 90 degrees, yes? Yes. Yeah. So that just shows me that he's activated. And then he's going to move for one. Yeah, and right. he's going to gain one momentum towards purple. Yep, which is going to be quite useful in a moment. So he is then going to attempt a grapple on this character. Mm, sure mm -hmm. So how do we do opposed actions in this game? Right. So uh, when you choose an action, you look at the different skills you got. You mm -hmm. can use any of them that have a value above zero. Okay. If, well, if do I do the rundown on them if you want to put one under the camera for me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just choose so, yeah, just character card. So yep. Uh, this would be a uh, ball control. You do everything related to ball with that skill. Yep. Then this would be push, and you use that to push characters. Mm -hmm. You other flyers. You, this is grapple with hand. Uh, you use that to restrain other mm -hmm. flyers. Then you've got dodge that allows you to avoid being pushed or being grappled. Mm -hmm. And this is hacking. That prevents uh, an opponent flyer from moving mm -hmm. if you get it done successfully. Yeah, you and can this uh, is your hack token. And this is your firewall, which helps you uh, avoid being hacked. Mm -hmm. Right. And the thing is, uh, you can use aggressive actions as counter actions. Mm -hmm. So every time so someone is trying to push you or is trying to grapple you, mm -hmm. uh, the opponent can either push you back, grapple you back, or dodge. Mm -hmm. Right. So dodge won't give him any benefits. Uh, but if he pushes back or he grapples back, mm -hmm. regardless if he's successful or not, he's going to get a tire token. Mm -hmm. Okay, that represents that the character has already done his action mm -hmm. before his activation. So it's a reminder that you already did your action, mm -hmm. and when it's your turn, you won't be able to. Now, quick question: Can I do that multiple times? Can I just stack tire tokens whenever yes. an opponent's trying to do something against yes. me? It just means I have to spend activation after activation just recovering. Yes. Okay. Right. So you lose one uh, tire token and one hack token mm -hmm. at the end of each activation. Got it. Of your activation. It's not at the end of the round, mm -hmm. it's when your card activates. So you can gain them, mm -hmm. and maybe you already you already spend, you already did your action, yeah. but it will affect you for the next round. Got it, got it. All right, well, uh, Wally is going to grapple here. So who is this character? All right, uh, this is Serian. Let's mm -hmm. show him up here real quick. So basically, my options are either pushback mm -hmm. or uh, dodge. Yes. And because my dodge is not that high, I'm going to choose to push. Okay. And I'm going to push you. I'm getting a tire yeah. token. That mm -hmm. gives me a tire token. I'm going to try to push you through the uh, force uh, field. Through this? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see what happens. Okay. So how do you resolve a confrontation? Mm -hmm. uh, you compare the values of uh, your action. Just yours is a three. Yep. This is a four, mm -hmm. and what you're going to do is you're going to draw a random card from the top of your deck okay. and add the value on that card. So I your get action. a two, All right. making a five. I get a three, that makes seven. Damn it. Yeah. So whoever has the highest uh, uh, wins, and Ooh. his action is the one that is successful. But if the attacker is uh, loses, mm -hmm. he's going to keep that card. Ah, okay? okay. And he's going to gain the tech stability in it. I see. So when you play the card for the confrontation, 
right? When you play the card for the competition, you only look at the value. Mm -hmm. But if you lose as the attacker, you're going to keep this in front of you, and you gain this text ability, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so this will now resolve. You've pushed me, yep. and so you're pushing me through you here. Move yes. here. And that's going to wound me. Yes. Yeah, so you have to flip your card. It becomes a little wi bit weaker, uh -huh. and you lose one victory point. Damn it. It was worth a try. Yeah. It went horribly wrong, but it was worth a try. And you gained a card. Mm -hmm. What does it do? Uh, so this is called Preventative Missile. Uh, so it's a reaction. After uh, the resolution phase begins, choose one square. The area terrain in that square is cancelled. Right. So, so if I can't get out of some danger, I can at least sort myself out a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, area terrain, as we said, is, uh, is going to affect you at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. And that's the resolution phase. Got it. Uh, well, I'm I'm not overly unhappy with this because he's now in with King, so he might be able to help him a little bit if something goes wrong in future turns. But I, no, here's the thing. So I moved once, I did my action, and I would still have a point of movement left. Could yes. I still use it even after having yes. Yes. lost that? Hmm. Okay. Is there anywhere I really want to go? Uh, you may want to remember, uh, Wally is not affected by area terrain. Yeah. Due to his and you also have abilities. one momentum, so. Bear that in mind. Yes, you will. in case I drift off the board. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'll leave him where he is. I think he's OK. All right. So yours. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I think, run away from people who could get the ball from me, mm -hmm. which currently are either king or center. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have safety could take a swing at it. Yeah. I'm more afraid of King, I think, <laughs> so I'm going to move away. And I'm going to use uh, Phaser's special ability for that. Uh -huh. And what it does is during his activation, he can ignore obstacles. Oh. So I'm actually going to move through this obstacle. Oh. And I'm not going to be affected by it. OK. Thanks to his ability. Well, that's clever. Uh, now he's activated. And Done. Back to you. Yeah. All right, I think the next one I'm going to have to activate is Grasshopper. Because from where Grasshopper has moved, he can move in and maybe go for a push. All right. Now, it's only a, a, a one, but uh, I think it's possibly worth it. All right, so what I'm going to do is dodge. OK. My dodge is uh, three. That's what happens. So we will we'll flip. Yeah. So two to um, three. At six. You win. I win. But I do get the card, and I get another preventative missile. All right. So I'll, I'll take that. So back to you. All right. You have uh, another movement, if you want. I do. I, I like standing there threatening you. Right. You know, just look at it. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try and use my uh, Therinth to possibly send Wally to the injured reserve. <laughs> So I'm going to move here. Oh, OK. And I'm going to push you through the barrier again. OK, so Wally is going to try and grapple you. He'll get a tired token. All right. But it's a better stat to try and face off against, I think. All right, let's see what so happens. Ready? And a one. All right. A four. Um, no good. The lucky one this time. Yeah, now because that was an aggressive action for me, do I still keep the card? No, because you were the defender in the, action, yeah. in the confrontation. I see. So you have to discard it. Yeah. All right. So you're pushed through this. Again. Again. You get injured again. Mm -hmm. And that means your character is out of the game. Completely out of the game. Completely out of the game. Oof. Ouch. All right. Yeah. And that will lose you another point, because you're injured again. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm on three now. And I have another movement, but you I do? think I'm going to stay there. OK. So this one was a very good tile for his very aggressive uh, yeah. team, because pushing people through stuff. It's pretty good for him. And yeah. there are plenty of uh, force fields, mm -hmm. the red ones. So, yeah. All right, I have to do something clever here. But I don't think I can be clever here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have safety go one and two to here, gaining a momentum, yeah. which is a oh purple yeah. one. Remember that safety has turbo, so he has three movements. So if what you want is to move out of the rock, you don't have to gain the momentum. Well, it's, it's why I wanted to get the momentum. Uh-huh. Because it'll just pull me out of the rock if yeah, I need to. Yeah, but you have three movements. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. So you don't have to. Yeah. So I'll I'll move so that I don't go through it. Yeah, so so instead I would go one, two, yeah, exactly. and then I'll move three. All right. All right. So he's going to try for a push on this character through to here. All right. So uh, my only option, my only real option, is dodge. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. 
Right, so I get a one. Uh, I get two. That's a total of four. Four. You're four as well. In case of a tie, attacker wins. Okay. So you win. So I will push you through here and injure yeah. you. And I'm injured. And I lose a point. Cool. And then with my last point of movement, uh, I will step back here. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Yours. I was going to use Bomber next, but now he's injured. He's mm -hmm. not all that good. I will just try and grapple you with tackle. Okay. So I'm going to move in here mm -hmm. and try to grapple you. Uh, King will dodge. All right. Yeah, let's see what happens. A one. Yeah, four. All right. What this means is I'm getting all out of high cards. <laughs> the next <laughs> round is going to be Did you hell. shuffle? I think you were cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what did that total out for you? All right. Uh, what was your total? My seven. total is seven. Seven. Right. Yeah. So, so even if I got a four, it would be even. So there's no point even using King's ability. Yeah, right. So King's ability is basically uh, after you play a card, you can choose to play a second card and mm -hmm. choose which one you use yes. once per round, right? Uh, but he, the cards go from one to four, mm. so he got the highest card he can get. Yeah. And even if you also got a four, you will lose because you were the defender, and in the tie, the attacker wins. Yeah. So you cannot really, so yeah. use it. Now that I've grappled you successfully, we indicated yeah. with that token. Yeah, I do like the idea of this token because it, it links the two stocks of the miniatures, yeah. and it's got the arrow pointing to say he is a, you know, a grappling that one. Yeah. Now, what does grappling do to you? Because this is what we're seeing now. Yeah, right. So a character that is being grappled mm -hmm. uh, cannot move independently. Mm -hmm. And the only action he can try to perform is use his grapple skill mm -hmm. to uh, uh, make escape? himself free, yeah, to escape. OK. Right? And, uh, and the person who is grappling, mm -hmm. whenever he moves, he forces the other character to move with him. Ah. All right. So it's very, it's very good. You can force him to move out. So mm -hmm. you can move out your character, and he will also move out. Mm -hmm. When you move out, you lose points. Mm -hmm. um, you lose different points depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. So if you move out outside your character's activation, thus you lose two points. Okay. If you move out during your character's activation, it's free unless you perform your action mm -hmm. or you have a tired token. Got it. In each case, it costs one point. Got right. It. So, for example, when Taco grapples you, yes, uh, if he can reach the border and move out, yeah, it would cost him only one point yeah. because it's a, his activation, but he did his action. Got it. Well, it will cost you two points. And in the special case of Taco, because of his ability, it costs him one less to leave the board. Ah. So it would be free for him, and it would be two points for you. So it's very useful just to get them in a headlock and say, no, 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 we're out. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and actually what I'm going to do next is I have one more point of movement. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move there. Okay. Just set up the next round. Okay, interesting. All right, so it's back to me. Yes. Mm. I will activate center, and I'm going to do something possibly crazy. I'm going to move one, two, pick up a purple token. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to try and push uh, Bomber through this gate again. Oh, that's right. actually good because actually he's good. got one only one dodge. So uh, what are you doing? Let's see what happens. I'll I will dodge. That's my only option. Okay. So I get a three, and you push me. Yep. So, so uh, another kill. Oh my god! This. Boop. So the, the <laughs> this match is <laughs> serve is is crazy. Yeah. And that causes me to lose another point. Mm. The other good thing for me is you hadn't activated Bomber yet. Yes. Yeah, that's very so good. you've lost an activation. You always want to take care of those uh, still ready characters. Yeah. And so all I'm left with is King, but uh, that's me done now. So it's on to you. Who do you have left? All right. I have Serion. He's got a tire token, but uh, his special ability is Relentless, mm -hmm. and that allows him to discard his tire token at the beginning of his activation uh, rather than uh, the end. That's <coughs> clever. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to do that. I'm expecting pain. And yeah, I'm going to, because center has already activated. Yep. But well, she's got momentum. She will. Oh, she'll be drifting. She'll be drifting, yeah. But I will do it regardless. I'm going to move there. Uh huh. You also get momentum. I get momentum towards uh, purple. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to push you uh, towards the asteroid. Okay, so center is just going to go for dodge on three. Mm -hmm. Let's All see what right. we got here. Let's see. Four. 
So I got two, that's a total of six. Uh, so seven. you win. Yeah. Oh, well, and I keep the card. After activating one flyer, that flyer can ignore obstacles until the end of his activation. I can live with this. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so your so turn. King will activate. And because he's grappled, the only action he can do is try to ungrapple himself. Yep, with a, a one. All right. Well, for four. And I've got six. Uh, so so you lose as the attacker, yep. but you keep that card. Keeping a yep. high card is actually usually really yeah. good. It's called biological attack. It's a reaction. After a player's turn begins, choose one flyer uh, she controls. That flyer loses his ability text until the end of the round. Yeah, that's really good. And also, he got tired because he countered your uh, yeah. grappling. Yeah. And if someone grapples you and you're happy enough to let them go, can you just go, yeah, that's fine, I'll just dodge? Yes. You can let go of uh, people mm -hmm. anytime you want. Yeah. OK. Uh, so that's round one complete. So yes. what happens now? Right. So uh, the resolution phase begins. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you have to resolve is momentum. Mm -hmm. Right? So you go in player's order. You only have got one player with momentum. Yep. So center goes through here yes. and picks up another momentum. Yes. So you gain yeah. another momentum. Okay. But the momentum you gain while resolving momentum is not resolved until the next round. Mm -hmm. OK? So you don't have to move again because of the momentum you just gained. Yeah. Um, and the same you thing have happens to me with Cherian. Yeah, and he also gets another momentum. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. All right. And the next thing you do is you resolve area terrain. So if anyone is on top of a rock or uh, some debris or some stuff, mm. you, you check now. But no one is, mm -hmm. so everyone's safe. Cool. Just uh, for the sake of it, if you were on top of an asteroid, mm -hmm. uh, you would get injured. Mm -hmm. If you were on top of space debris, mm -hmm. you would get uh, tired. Got yeah. Yeah. Tired yeah. And uh, basically, whoever has the ball gains three points now. Ah, so okay. three points so, three. Uh, you don't have to score the ball anywhere. You just have to keep it. Mm -hmm. And those are, those, are, those are three points. Okay. Got it. Just keep it at the end of the round. OK, so. That's right. right. Yeah. So yeah. what you do now is you remove the the tile mm -hmm. and you put a new random in. So one goes out. This is one of my favorite features of this game is the idea that your board is flowing and changing. So I think about there should do it. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. And so now suddenly the field has opened up a little bit here and there, which yep. is interesting. Yes. Just a, a little bit of uh, background on this. Mm -hmm. We're playing on a prototype board. Mm -hmm. Uh, the final production board will match the size of the sheets exactly. So when you put it in, mm -hmm. you will know exactly where to uh, uh, stop. Yeah, you don't have to uh, shuffle yeah. around. I don't know. I, I kind of like it having that little bit of wiggle room on it. Oh, yeah, it will be a little bit. A little bit of wiggle room. Otherwise, yeah. It's, yeah. it might be hard to put it in and stuff yeah. like that. All right, so first player token will go to you then. Yeah. Yes. All right, well, let's let's play one more round. We'll try and play at full speed now. All right. Let's yeah. see what we get. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we, we ready everybody up? Everybody. Yeah, you ready everyone up? If you have fewer than uh, five players now, mm -hmm. uh, you have to uh, enter with new ones during uh, this phase. OK, and it can be someone who's been taken out? Yeah. No. OK. Uh, it can be somebody that has been sent out, but not somebody who has been injured twice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, as the first player, I will place my uh, flyer first. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm in a pretty good position, because mm -hmm. I've got a couple of tough uh, characters in the middle of the board. Mm -hmm. I've got the ball. So what I, what I want to do is uh, maybe use my hacker to stop you from moving. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place my hacker somewhere that's reasonably safe, maybe yeah. here. Is there any uh, particular range on hacking, or is it just board wide? It's board wide. OK. Yeah. And when you. Uh, put in new characters in the substitu substitution phase, mm -hmm. you have to watch out for obstacles that are in the edges of the ah, board. Because yeah. okay. you are affected by them as you enter the board. See, OK, well, I'm going to add a character, Chameleon, in this edge of the board. Because yeah. that could be useful. Yeah. One thing I, I should point out, mm -hmm. uh, this board has a new obstacle that we didn't see in the previous one, mm -hmm. which are uh, these ones here. Open. Right? They are called open obstacles. And basically, uh, what they do is, when a character moves through them, Mm -hmm. uh, after you move, you place a royal gun then there, mm -hmm. in whichever direction you please. Ah. It won't trigger against you, but if someone's following you, it will yeah. trigger against them. It's I quite see. handy. Uh, There's some good tactical placement you can do with that. Yeah. 
<coughs> all right, well, yours. All right. So I'm thinking Chameleon might try and get the ball from me, maybe. So what I'm going to do first is activate Tracer mm -hmm. and move away from, uh, from that area. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move through this obstacle. I'm going to set it downwards so that if somehow he manages to reach me, mm -hmm. he's going to be pushed out of the field. Um, and I'm going to end my movement there. Okay. In the corner. So you've actually caught me there because Chameleon has an ability that lets him basically copy someone else's. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I could copy safeties to get the extra the move. Turbo, yeah. But going through that is just going to be too costly. In fact, I tell you what I'll do. I'll activate Grasshopper. Yep. Grasshopper will go through, go through, and take that Momentum. point from the real gun. All right. And he is going to try and grapple you for three. All right. I'll try and dodge and see what happens. For four. All right. Oh, so four play four. You, do you grapple me. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So when you grapple a ball carrier, the ball is left loose on the board. Mm -hmm. Nope, the other way around. You're yeah. not grappling him. <laughs> All the way around. <laughs> No, little token. Picking up a ball from a space, is that a free action? Uh, it's automatically successful, but it's, it spends an action. Mm. So you cannot do anything else. Yeah. You do it. Well, I'm just I'm looking at, can I get anyone to there that's not going to fly off the board? You know, that, that one placement has really messed me up. Yeah. Uh, so you but even if the ball's left sitting loose, that's kind of okay for me. So what I think is going to happen is, for me... I would activate. Oh no, sorry. Your activation. Yeah. My activation sorry. now. Um, oh, one thing that's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, when a, a, a flyer, they're mm -hmm. called flyers, the, the characters, uh, that it grapples another one has mm -hmm. any momentum, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the, the grapplee is going to get the same amount of momentum. Uh -huh. So you're going to uh, your, your speeds match up then. Yes, yeah. exactly. So you get one also on a phaser. So when you leave the board, mm -hmm. because of the momentum, he's also going to leave the board. Yeah, that's, that's OK with me. Yeah. And uh, one thing that you can keep in mind, so he's winning by points, right? Mm -hmm. And you're about to lose uh, some points there. Yes. Uh, you cannot go below zero. Mm -hmm. So zero. It sounds terrible, but it's a safe space yeah, to be crazy aggressive. Okay. Because you don't care about leaving the board. You can uh -huh. don't care about, about being pushed around. Uh -huh. You can go all in. Okay. So you can do that because, you know, you're going to lose now two points, right? Yeah. So why not just go crazy? Well, I, I have an idea. Well, no, sorry. It's still your activation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play safe and use my tackle mm -hmm. to get out. Uh, so I lose a point? Yeah, that would normally cost two me... Points. Uh, two points. Two points. Oh, I'm on one. One point because I'm, ex I'm tired, mm -hmm. yeah, but Tackle's uh, special skill mm -hmm. is exit strategy. He, does, he loses one less point when uh, he gets out. Interesting. One so okay, so we're off the board. Point. Yeah. Mm. And you lose two. Yeah. So you okay. move those guys to the reserve. Yeah. yeah. So I assume I just put him on top of his card, yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then it's back to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I should have used biological attack there. Because then you would have lost the ability. Yeah, but he would only have lost one point. Yeah. Mm, so, yeah, it's still a point. Still a point, yeah. yeah. You know, it's just it's remembering points. to trigger these things. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is something possibly very stupid. <laughs> okay. But we'll see. So, I'm going to activate my safety. Yeah. And what my safety is going to do is going to go one, two, and three to here. So I've activated two of these. Yeah. So I need two of those. So I'm going to have this one pointing away from the board and this one pointing this way. And then what my safety is going to do is going to try and push the big guy through here. Well, All right. One thing I can I should mention. He's got two momentum towards purple. Right? So why not double down on that? Mm -hmm. You place this in the opposite direction. Ah, and then, he and then he's going, if you successfully push him, he gets three momentum. Yeah. And, I, and if even if I push him, he, yeah, if I push him here, he's definitely off board. Yeah, regardless well, of where you push him. So maybe it's even better to push him through yeah, that so he gets tired. tired. Yeah. yeah. Good call. 
So you can keep this in this direction. Yeah, I like the idea that if someone goes through here, they're either staying here or getting pushed into a tired. Yeah. Just to make things a little more difficult. Okay, so I'm pushing on three. All right, pushing this way or that way? Uh, towards you. Towards me. So towards you, towards that purple board edge. Yeah. All right, and so ready? what I'm going to do then is dodge. Dodge, okay. Yeah. So compare. Press three. All right, I'm on six. I'm on six. So you Attacker win. Attacker wins on draws. So you get pushed. I get first push here, and I become get tired. Uh, tired. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. All right. So it's back to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna obviously have to leave the board with uh, Serion. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is before I get sent out, I'm gonna try and cause some damage. On the process. Right. So Sirion's got the ability that he's going to lose the tire token before mm. activating, right? But you can cancel that out. Biological attack, yeah. Yeah. So you can use a biological attack and make Sirion useless. Yep, I'll do that. So you're gonna cancel this. Yes. yes. So yeah. Then I'm gonna choose and do something else. Yeah. Right. You can do that. Uh, no, it's after a player's turn begins. So it's your yeah. turn, but it's not after the player activates. Yeah. Yes. So cool. he his, his turn begins, you use that, and then he chooses whom Who to activate. Yeah. Just for priority, sometimes yes. getting the actual sequence of activation is super important. It is like super this. important, yeah. So this is cancelled until mm. when? The end of the round. Until the, the end yeah. of the round. All right. Yeah. So he's going to leave the board, and he won't be able to do any tricky, mm -hmm. sneaky yeah, he stuff. He can't grab someone and take them with him. Yeah. Or push with his crazy four push. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's use the hacker then. Uh -huh. And I'm going to try and hack your center. Okay. See what happens. Uh, so my center has a firewall of two. Yep. And then we're facing uh, off. And my hacking is three. Two. So I've got six. Four. Yep. And you're hacked. So yep. you, you take that token. And uh -huh. then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set it towards this direction. Uh -huh. And I'm going to move here. Uh -huh. And that's my hacker activated. Okay. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm setting up mm -hmm. a little combo that I will yeah. do with uh, in the next round. I just had a thought. Do you have any characters which disable those uh, obstacles? Actually, it's the other way around. So yes. So actually, every hacker can spend his action to automatically uh, successfully Mm -hmm. uh, turn off any obstacle. So we got these tokens, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when a hacker says, okay, I'm going to spend my hacking action mm -hmm. to put that there, you turn it off. Okay? Yeah. So anyone, ca any hacker can do that. But there are some special characters that can do it, like, in between actions, so they don't mm -hmm. have to spend their action and so on. So yeah. the, uh, the technotics are the, the hacker based <coughs> thing, mm -hmm. and they have a character that does that, and it's very nice. I see. All right, well, my next thing <coughs> is going to be Chameleon, who does have a hacking skill. Yeah. Right. So he's going to copy One the thing, ability. you cannot hack um, a real gun? an obstacle that has already a token on top of it. Ah, uh, so you can only yeah, hack so the can't, board. You can't obstacles. undo these. Then. You cannot do undo them. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So the, the game is always falling forwards. You cannot. Yeah. Uh, take back. Well, I still have to activate someone. I'll activate the chameleon and try and get him into a more useful position. So I will go one two and gain the token for that all right that's a purple momentum yeah it is everything seems to be falling off your side of the board <laughs> uh so chameleon when you activate him mm -hmm. you choose any character on the board and you copy his his text abilities yeah so, um, right. so one of yours or one of mine can i make a recommendation yeah do you think, think well, this, this is you can use Therian's ability. Uh -huh. You can copy Therian's ability. If we can show that. Okay, what is it? Therian has actually two abilities. Uh, both are instant, so they uh -huh. can be used at any time. Uh -huh. One is gain one momentum mm -hmm. in whichever direction you want. Yeah. And the other one is resolve your momentum whenever you want. Ooh. So you've got one purple momentum. Yeah. If you were to use her second ability, you could enter this space, right? Yeah. And then you use her first ability and you cancel your own momentum. Ah, yeah. And if you take the ball, you won't fall off. Yeah, I'll grab the ball. I'll do. All right. There you Thank go. You. I see. I see. He's just in it to to, to mess you up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yes I just <laughs> came to make sure he loses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he can't do anything. No. He's gonna. 
get off the board. So you might as well leave. I might as well leave right mm -hmm. now. And you only lose one point. I lose one point rather than two. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to do that. So it goes to your reserve. Now, whenever yeah. you go off the board, do you lose all momentum, all tired? Yes, you lose yeah. all tokens. Okay. You still remain injury, injured. So you don't have you don't flip the car, yeah. But uh, all tokens you lose them. Okay. So it's very nice because on the beginning of the next round you can come in fresh mm -hmm. with him or another character. Okay. Uh, well, my last activation is Spitter, <coughs> who is hacked and stuck sitting doing nothing. Yeah. All right. Can Which is unfortunate. You so you you basically token? remove the hack token. Yep. Um, all right. And with my last activation, I may be able to take the ball from you. Okay, if you want to try, uh, what do you have? So I, I've got 13 left. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a momentum token towards purple. So uh -huh. this is going to do the same Then thing. I'm going to resolve my momentum. Uh -huh. so that will put me through here. Uh -huh. That will make, cause me to lose this momentum. Yeah, and then you're going to come at me. And then I can come at you. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking I'm not all that good at ball. Mm -hmm. I just don't want you to have it, <laughs> so I'm going to push you off the field. Okay, uh, uh, I am actually going to push back because it's the exact same stat. Wait, I will push uh, Grasshopper rather than uh, Kalyun F. Okay. Because why? Um, oh, because you, you need Phaser. I, I need Phaser to be free. Yeah. Uh, and he's not going to free himself, no. so I have to help him. <laughs> I will push Grasshopper out. All right, uh, so in that case... Right, so Grasshopper could either push back, uh -huh. grapple back, or dodge, right? Uh -huh. But if he were to grapple back, he cannot grapple more than one person. He yeah. has to first let go of Phaser. Right, but if I do the other two, am I okay? To yeah, you could, grappling? you could keep him. All right, uh, in that case, I will just try to dodge. All right. So I've got pushed three. Three. Uh, total uh, of five. five. And yep. you got a total of four. So that didn't use. work out. And I keep this card, though. That's a plus one to my flyer skill oh. uh, on the... One, whatever action you want. Yeah, on another yeah. confrontation. That could have been handy to have yeah. right now. <laughs> but yeah, and that's uh, my turn then. Uh, yeah. So I'm out, you're out. End of round, resolution phase? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's the end of the round. So basically what you do now is first check momentum, beginning yeah. with the first player. So Phaser got one, one momentum. Uh, so we both fly out. Yeah. We both lose uh, two, points. two points each. I lose one because I only had the one. Exactly. Yeah. I lose two, which puts me down to three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we resolve every terrain, but everyone is uh, in safe spaces. Yep. And then whoever has the ball gets three uh, points. Uh, well, I also have center who has oh, right, two. Right. So she will fall off. Yeah. Yep. And you lose another two points, but you're on zero. Yeah, which so is you're fine. safe. And then, yep, that's it. Yeah. Yep. So then I have the ball, so I gain three. Yes. Yeah. So you are back. Tied. You're tied, yeah. Very tied. Tied. good. Mm. Good um, run. Really interesting game, guys. Really, really interesting. I, wa I want to get a full let's play of this in. All right. And I know Jerry in the office, you guys have been talking up the, the four player format where things just go a little bit. You know, crazy. You know, the, the synergies are. Is the work. So yeah. in, in a four-player game, you mm -hmm. play two against two. Mm -hmm. So you can combine two different teams and create mm -hmm. different synergies that you don't get in the two-player version. But uh, because of that, it's mm -hmm. a little bit more chaotic. Lots yeah. of things going on. I like that idea, yeah. though. I, yeah. I, I gotta say, I love my chaos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Is there any aspect of the game that you guys think we missed during this video? There was a lot of aggression in the first round, I'm yeah. surprised. And uh, then you did uh, quite a few interesting strategies with mm. uh, Chameleon and Therian. That was cool. Mm. Uh, mm, no, I don't think so. Like, mostly Perfect. how to use the reserve. Mm -hmm. uh, so, leaving the board mm -hmm. uh, can cost points, but it can also be free, depending mm. on what you do. So, uh, you also remember that every time that you have fewer than five uh, mm -hmm. uh, flyers on the board at the end of the round, you can enter with mm -hmm. a, a number of them until you have five. Yeah, and right? that's from any outside edge. From any outside edge. So, for example, if somehow he's moved the, bo the, the ball to an area which, that you cannot reach anymore, yeah. uh, maybe it's worth leaving the board, losing that action, or losing that point. So, doing the action and losing the point. Yeah, to get and someone in who to can get do someone, for you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And also, um, one thing you have to, to prepare for your team for is 
for the rounds in which you have the ball mm -hmm. and the rounds in which you don't have the ball. Yeah. So you want different team members on the board there. Yeah. So basically, when you steal the ball, you have to think, okay, now I should remove these two guys from the board mm -hmm. and enter with these other two that can help me keep yeah. it. So you have to, I mean, there's a lot of strategies yeah, that come yeah. up. Team composition that. must be flowing all the time mm. to adapt to the different yes. circumstances. That's why I like that, that nice little yeah. drafting at the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll tell you what, let's pass it out to everybody out there. Get your comments in below, tell us what do you think of the game of core ball, and stay tuned because we will be back for a Let's Play for a four player mashup. We'll move on, we'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.